Report in Humane Justice to the Ministry of Defence. Right. Yeah. What are we talking? Article 3 for the IPP prisoners. It's against the law and I wish to report under Article 3 the severe mental torture this sentence has caused. Right, and has this been to court? Is this what you mean? It's already done. IPP prisoners, yep. it's been abolished now. Okay. I don't know if you know anything about to it. To be honest, no. I, I have no well, idea, to be fair. Prisoners yes. still held with indefinite sentences, causing okay. them mental anguish. Them, they're trying to hang themselves. Whilst in prison? Whilst in prison. Right. So Let me speak to my governor about this, because obviously I'll have to go by what he says in regards to reporting. But when you read Article 3, yep. the freedom and torture, inhumane and degrading treatment, the government are responsible. So I wish to put my point across. Yep. I want to report the Ministry of Justice for inhumane degrading treatment under Article 3 of the mental torture this sentence has caused. Right. And are you doing this on behalf of inmates that are still inside? Is all that, is the, that yeah, all the IPP prisoners. IPP. I'm on the IPP committee. Okay. And we do lots of things to try and bring it to attention. Okay. But this is now one of them because it's the freedom of torture. Cool. I have a feeling that I know what he's going to say, On your but no, I think it will probably be more of a government thing that you're going to have to do. I don't think we're going to have to be able to report it as a crime as such. It's probably going to be something that you're going to probably have to go to the, back to the, you know. The, well, the, it's a the crime they're it. committing, so. Yeah, I will run it past him now. I'll go okay. to my, the actual inspector for today that's on duty. Okay. And I'll let him see. Thank you very says. much. You're very welcome. Heart. No worries. You can